this is Diane. It is Wednesday, March 20th, and I am in the middle of my spring break, and it has been the most productive spring break I have ever had. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have been decluttering and revamping my crafty space. I have not had an opportunity to set up a camera and record the process because I am like really deep in it. So I've been sharing a lot of it on Insta Story because like I've mentioned before, Insta story is so much quicker but I went ahead and got those video clips and created a YouTube video so if you do not have insta story you can still follow my process in the way it is it's 15 second clips and it's just gonna be all together I'm gonna try to do it chronologically ordered so that you will not be lost in the process so let me go ahead and start with day one which was I had started before but this is a, a full day of actually working well not a full day but hours spent on decluttering day one Okay, so it is Saturday, a little after 9 o'clock, Saturday p.m., 9 o'clock p.m., um, and I'm back at it. I have not been in here all day long because I was busy running errands throughout the day. Um, but here are my little stampers. Um, I have them in this Dollar Tree bin, and they're just, like, thrown in here. I rarely use them because they're thrown in here, and I don't even know what I have. And I have all different types, Carp Diem, Amy Tangerine... I have some Studio Calico, some Heidi Swaps. These, um, right, these are from the actual um, Smash Books. I have a ton of Smash Books. That's what that is from. So they're all in here. So I definitely need. Here's Pink Paisley. I need a different solution. This is not working. So once I start organizing, because right now I'm not organizing. I'm just kind of like putting like items together. Because in this little bin, I had this Texas cookie cutter. I have these little wall hangers, two of them, not only one. And I also had this little bottle of hand soap in there. Why? I don't even know why. That's what I'm talking about. Why? Because this little container is on a little, um, it's on a cube unit right before you enter my room, my little crafty room. So it's just a place where I was just dropping things off or in. And that's not going to work. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just trying to get stuff out of here so that I can work on putting my new desk. Okay, so I'm using this big tub that I found, an empty tub, to put stuff that really is just there. It has no place. It's just there. So I'm using this to put them in there for now. And then I'll go back and decide what I'm going to do with them. For an example, like this little container that I have here, it has glue sticks and it has Mod Podge. Why is it, what is it doing here? So uh, this would go in the bin. This is going in the bin. All these things right here are going in the bin. I have a candle. I have tape. I have um, my little cricket plates for the cuddle bug. It doesn't belong there. It needs a place. So right now the place is going to be this bin and I'll decide what to do with it afterwards. I may be doing this organization all wrong, but it's working for me because everything else, anything else I'm trying to do is taking too long and I don't have time. Time is very limited and I need not to waste it. I'm also glad that Lysol, before I forget, that Lysol has different, I don't know, scents, I guess, for their wipes because the other ones are smelled with, the, have this strong chemical smell and these I found them at Publix. It, it's a new brand. Uh, they're everywhere, Walmart, Target, and this is green apple and aloe. So I don't feel like my hands smell like chemicals when I'm done with these. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now. So I already got rid of that first unit and now I'm going to work. This is easy because those are all in its place. Okay, that section is cleared off. Both those units are moved away to another location and then my bin more than halfway filled. So on to inside now okay so this is my rascog i have three of them this is a gray one and then i have two teal and they each have their purpose so this is the one that's right next to my desk so it's my desk and i turn to the right i put my right hand out and i can touch all this so i've got pans scissors staplers little cutters all that stuff but you also notice that now i have other stuff like this stuff i just put in here like this doesn't belong here these don't belong there. Down here I have this mug I bought at Michael's um, for 90% off. It does 80% off. It doesn't belong there. So then this, underneath this is organized. It's just, I need to keep it organized. These are just um, 
papers from the card kit and then this is just some eight by ten pictures that i was printing out to put in frames they're just there and then i'll show the other cart in a minute but this one is coming out in a few minutes okay you see that didn't take long it was just removing all that stuff on top of it that was covering it and it's it was organized before this makes a lot more sense to have it next to my desk with the things that i need and again once I get my Alex drawers for my, that's the desk I'm going to input here. That's the desk I'm going to put in this room this week, hopefully, if I get it. Uh, the Alex drawers are going to be used for stuff like this because I don't have any drawers on my desk right now because it's an ugly computer desk. But anyway, here on the top, I just have like my Stamp Perfect tool. I have the bigger one and then the smaller one is in this bag. This is the one I usually take on crops. Then I have like my magnetic board underneath there. This is the nicer quality cardstock for card making. Scissors, pens, all this. These little makeup brushes, I actually use it like for embossing powder and glitter. I just use that. Um, just different things here. Because remember, I also use this to grade papers and to create assignments. So I have like glue, I have um, correction tape, all that stuff. Under here, I have, these are the only project life cards i have left i had so many and one day i got upset and i kid you not i threw them all away i wasn't even wanting to separate them i wasn't even wanting to sell them i just threw them all away i have more in the closet area that i haven't even opened that i'll go through some other time but for now this is what i have is whatever whatever's in here these little ones and i have bigger ones in the back these do not belong here but they're here for now. It's a whole bunch of seed beads I bought on a D stash. And I need to put them somewhere else because they're not going to stay here. Just a variety of things here. Down here I have little canvases and folders with stickers. And then I have some more acrylic blocks there. Okay, so this is what's behind the Rascog. As you can see, it's fairly organized. Um, so there's a couple of things in here that I no longer use or not going to use. I need to get rid of it because right what's the point if it's going to be stored so also if you notice the color difference between these and these it's because these in the bottom are newer and they're the older ones are better quality than the newer ones see how this is face missing the face part right here this front part of the cabinet it just popped off i don't know why maybe i put it on in wrong i have no idea but it's it's hanging down there somewhere but anyway i bought these if you follow her from damaris i'll tag her here she was decluttering, moving things around. She is my inspiration. I've told her that many times. She's always revamping her room and it just inspires me because she's not only a beautiful crafter, but she's a beautiful person inside and out because I, don't, I think I mentioned before, she lives locally. I've met her and she's just a wonderful person. Um, but she is an inspiration to me, especially when it comes to this. This is why I'm doing this. So thank you, Damaris. And like I said, I've, I've thanked her before. But these units came from, I bought, I bought these from her and they're a lot better quality, the older ones, than these newer ones. So, yeah, so now I'm going to just, I'm going to start moving these. But see, I have stuff on top that I got to move first. Okay, I already cleared the bottom and I forgot to share that I was clearing the bottom. But I have like this little shelf here to create another level. And this is where I have all my stickles. And these are little Dollar Tree makeup holders or containers. And they fit the stickles perfectly. So nice and organized. This is my favorite drawer here with all my jewelry making stuff. Um, I love these Laura DIY um, tools that Michaels carried. And these beads right here bring back like elementary school memories. I don't know why, but I I'm glad I never got rid of this box of transparency film. These sheets, it's a hundred sheets in here. I mean, we used to have to buy these boxes upon boxes because all we had to work with was this, this uh, overhead projector. And I remember having to Xerox over these and write on them. And my lessons came from transparency sheets. How crazy, how much education has changed. Um, but anyway, I removed the clear wrapping on this maybe a year or so ago i cannot believe it that i still had it and i'm using it now for crafty stuff instead of teaching because i do not need these in the classroom ever again so and these aren't cheap 
So I remember we used to buy boxes upon boxes with our money that we would get at school. It's crazy. But yeah, I think the last time I used them was to make Christmas ornaments. That's what I used it for. Okay, um, as I mentioned before, this is where I'm storing my, like, the little stamps that I get, like, from Michael's or from other places in these little CD holders. Um, again, they're not the way I want them to be. That's why you, you see this little piece of the actual packaging there. So I'll, I know what type of stamp this is in the maker. So I am storing them in these Dollar Tree containers. These are actually clear, and they're called... Um, cold soda can storage that's what it is you, you store soda cans there for the refrigerator but i did not want them to be clear and i had a spray paint from michael's that i bought on clearance and metallic silver and i painted them silver um this was a, a couple of years ago and i have two of them and i have a couple of others that i painted metallic gold i painted the little um pails that they sell at the dollar spot I painted those gold but don't these look nice and better than just clear plastic so i have two so far and i bought two more today so that i can finish off with my stamps okay so i have this unit that i bought i think at michael's i don't even know where this is from it's really it's called really useful box and it has 16 little boxes and it's just super cute but it's empty because I don't even know what I'm using it for. Look, I started filling it up with flare. That's one box. But then I never did anything else with the other ones. And I didn't want to return it because I just think it's so cute. But I have to fill it in with stuff. Maybe some beads. It's too big for sequins. Um, too small for other things. Maybe beads or pieces of ephemera. With ephemera, no, it's going to be... No, ephemera might fit in here, though. Because I'm going to be cutting some ephemera for, for Easter. Maybe I'll try ephemera. I mean, not all of it with ephemera, but I could because it could be like holiday ephemera. So yeah, maybe, see, I just need to pull this out. It was behind the stamps and I didn't even, I had forgot that I even had this. That's ridiculous.